Hey there YouTube, so today I went ahead and took our Thompson Center bolt action rifle. This is the, which model is this? I forget. Um, the Compass Utility. It's not the Compass 1 or the 2, it's the Compass Utility. It's their base entry level rifle. Uh, you can get it chambered in a variety of different calibers, but uh, this guy's a 6.5 Creedmoor and I've had it for a while. I've killed several big game animals with it and uh, I was getting bored and you know I was going through the gun cabinet and I decided I'll just go ahead and pull the stock off this guy real quick and see if we can't change up the color a bit I got some spray cans in the garage uh, I got a I was just spraying down something with some uh, uh, some samples I got this like hunter club green from rust-oleum paints in a spray can and it looks like it's pretty good color I think it'll um, I think it'll do nicely on this guy and I'm just, you know, got to change it up every now and then. But let's go out there and uh, see if we can't go ahead and spray this guy down. I went ahead and wiped it with a, uh, uh, a wet washcloth and just kind of got what dirt I could off of it. And uh, I also used a little bit of antibacterial dish soap to remove any oils that might have been lingering on the foregrip and down by the trigger guard. Um, and if you guys aren't familiar with pulling the, uh, the actual barrel off of these stocks, um, it's pretty simple. There's just two little uh, Allen bolts that run here and there. Literally just take those and uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. Just slides right out. But let's see if we can't go ahead and do a little video on us spraying this stock down. We're going to go ahead and tape off the uh, cushion pad on the butt stock here. And we'll also go ahead and tape off our little... Um, doesn't really matter, but our little steel sling studs, we'll go ahead and uh, tape those off just to, just to kind of give the rifle a decent look. But let's jump out there and see how we're going to take our painter's tape. We're just going to tape off this buttstock cushion pad and, like I said, the metal sling stud. So I'll do that right now. All right, so we got our painter's tape covering up the buttstock here. Got a good line on it. Got right on the edge and just stayed, hugged it. And we also went ahead and twisted it off and did our sling studs so that way those are covered. Alright, let me go shake up that can for a minute and we'll start laying down some coats on this guy. Okay, well, we are in the garage. The wind was blowing just a little bit and uh, didn't feel comfortable spraying without uh, just a nice still environment. So, of course, naturally we relocate to the garage, but just so you guys can see what we're painting with here, we have some of this Rust-Oleum uh, Hunt Club Green. It's kind of a satin finish, so there's not going to be a glossy shine to this. It should look pretty dull and kind of have like a faded dull satin finish, so that way it won't be reflective much, which is good. So. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, change it up. I'm going to toss some of these blades of grass and see if I can't create a nifty little pattern on the stock. Uh, if it works and looks good, we'll keep it going, but I figured I'd just try it out real quick on the back end here. If I like it, I'll go ahead and um, continue it and see if we can't make this thing look a little bit better. All right, guys, so I went ahead and just uh, draped the grass over the edge of the buttstock here and went away went ahead and worked my way up to the front and uh, I don't know I'm kind of on the fence I'm tempted to just paint it solid or you know leave it like that and just flip it over and do a light coat of this club green so um, feel free to comment and share down below if you have a better option as far as like color coating but um, I just thought it'd be a fun little quick simple project and give us a chance to change up this stock look a little. Alright guys, so I just finished putting on the additional coat on the other side and I think I'm going to keep it with the grass pattern. I like it. I think uh, I like how it breaks up the colors and uh, it looks good. I think this should be dry um, here to touch. Dry to the touch in the next like 15 to 30 minutes um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, let this let this stuff go ahead and uh, seal up nice and tight and adhere to that plastic stock and hopefully it uh, it grabs on there pretty good 
and uh, I think probably here in the next like six six hours or so, four to six hours, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know just let it sit here and cool off in the garage on the floor here, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reinstall um, the barrel and get everything bolted back up, uh, making sure that it's completely dry at that point. But. But I think that is a great way to sum it up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you like these types of videos, feel free to subscribe, give us a like, or even comment down in the below. Um, I really appreciate the folks that have taken the time to comment and post under the videos and really um, you know, take the time to give me a shout out and tell me that they appreciate uh, the video and that it helped them in some way. So. Uh, if you feel the video may have helped you in some way or another, please, you know, let me know. I, I definitely appreciate that, and, uh, you know, it's great to hear that type of news. So, that being said, you guys have a great evening, great day, whatever it might be, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.